Hey, today we are going to be making something special. We are making a crunch wrap. So how delicious is this going to be? So I have about a pound of ground beef and a pound of turkey. You can use whatever you want. You can use all ground beef. You can use ground pork, ground chicken, whatever you've got. Ground meat, it'll work. So I'm going to get that started. Gonna use my get that started. Now, with our crunch wrap, we are going to be using these crisp corn tortilla shells that are already done. You buy them in the store like this, and then I had to get these big mama tortillas to put to wrap them in that it would go all the way around our our corn tortilla. So we've got our tortillas, our crispy corn shells. I have a little bit of jack cheese, a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. Of course, I grated it because, you know, I don't use anything pre-shredded around here because it just doesn't melt right. And then I have some refried beans, just a can of refried beans. I warmed them up a little bit. And then I have some diced tomato. And I had a, a, a piece of corn left, corn on the cob left from dinner the other night, so I cut this off the cob, because, you know, why not? And I have some salsa and some sour cream, and of course I have ode to this kind of salsa. And then I have some fresh diced jalapeno here, and this is what we are going to use to create our crunch wrap. Of course, I have some shredded lettuce. We grabbed the lettuce. There's some lettuce in the fridge. I cut it and stuck it in the fridge. Um, chopped it up, I have some shredded lettuce here by Magic Hands. And we are going to put this together. It's going to be yummy because, you know, who doesn't love a crunch wrap? Yum. So let's get this browning. My pan is pretty hot, so it'll cook fast for you guys. Flip it over. Got it going here, show you what's happening here. Here you go, just browning the meat. So we'll keep that going here, flip it over. Okay, there we go, let that go, here we go. I uh, would normally do this on my cooktop here for you guys in front, but I have loaned it out. Our neighbor is redoing their kitchen and they don't have a kitchen so I have loaned out my my uh, little induction cooktop so we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way right on the stove so we'll let that get browned up okay you can see the ground beef is getting um, nice ground beef and ground turkey is getting nice and browned up here so I'm going to, ooh, whoops, getting a little crazy. So to this, I'm going to add my spice package. Now, you know, I usually make my own, but I'm trying to make some recipes that are easy for my son who's in college. So we're just going to use this. Now, this is actually two packages because you usually use one package of this for every one pound of beef. And I had more than one pound of beef, so I've use two spice packages and we will get this stirred in. I'm just gonna add a little bit, a smidge of water. It calls for some, but I'm gonna add a smidge because sometimes the ground meat has so much water in it that I don't want to make it too watery. But I want it to have a nice, I want all that spice mix to mix in and break down. So I'll add in the water just a little bit at a time and see how we've got it going on here. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to add just a smidge more. A 
Oh my gosh, it smells. It smells so yummy. So now let's get started on assembling our crunch wrap here. So I'm gonna take one of these super mondo tortillas here and I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. Get my pan on. Biggest pan I have, biggest pan the tortilla will fit in here. But I'm gonna warm it up a little bit so it doesn't break when I start assembling the crunch wrap. I want it to be a little bit warm. Now, if you're gonna make a bunch of these at once, I would take the tortillas, put them in the microwave with a wet paper towel and heat them for maybe 30 seconds or so, not long, just to get, get them warm so that when you fold them, they won't rip and break. But because I'm just doing one right now for you guys, I'm just gonna warm it up right in the pan. So I've got my pan on, nice and hot. It's getting warmed up here. And then we are going to assemble one of these creations. So I think I'll start spreading some of my beans on my corn tortilla here. Let me get one out. And I have, I just got out a knife. I have an offset spatula here that I'm gonna spread some beans on. Yeah, now if you don't like beans, you don't wanna use beans, no problem, but I love beans. So we are gonna put some on here. So there we go, beans on our crispy corn here. Oh, and this is getting, tortilla's getting nice and warm. And I think I'm gonna grab a plate, a clean plate to assemble th this on. And I think our meat is getting plenty sizzling here. show you this, it's hot. I'll show you what this looks like here. It's a little red from the chili powder, but it looks good and done, yummy. And keep that on there. And then our tortilla here, oh my gosh, looks delish. It's getting, it's nice and pliable. So we're gonna start here and assemble. I'm gonna put some cheese on the bottom here because we want it to be nice and gooey. So I'm going to put some cheddar. I'm going to put a little bit of this jack on the bottom. And then I'm going to put our tortilla crunch. I'm going to put some meat on top. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to put the meat here so it stays on the hot side and helps melt our cheese. So put a little meat on there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And now I'm gonna put my crunch on top. There we go. And then I'm gonna add here our cold thing. So I'm gonna put the lettuce in the middle here and I will put a little bit of this fresh jalapeno, a little bit of the corn, break that up, put a little bit of corn in there. Yum. How yummy does this look? A little bit of tomato. Oh my gosh, yum. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa. Put a little of that on there. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little more cheese, again, some more glue to glue our tortilla on here. Little cheese. And then let's wrap. So I'm gonna go wrap it. Let's go around in a circle, just like this. I've got a little generous with my filling, but you know, it's gonna be delish. Okay, so now I am gonna fry this up. Oh my gosh, it smells delish. See why I had to get those huge torti tor tortillas so it would all cover our deliciousness. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little oil in this pan so it'll get brown. So I'm just using avocado oil, you use whatever you want, and I'm gonna put it the folded side down, and we're gonna let that brown up for a minute, and let that cheese melt, and let it get a little crispy. Oh, here, already getting crispy, my pan is very hot. And oh my gosh, 
This is going to be delish. And then we have our own homemade crunch wrap. Of course, I have some of regular salsa, and I have a little sour cream we can top it with once we get it crispy on the outside. Open this. Hold on. Okay. Now, is crunch wrap one of, one of your favorite things at your favorite fast food Mexican place? I know it's our son's, one of his favorite things is the crunch wrap. So I thought, let's make these be yummy, something different, and really easy once everything's prepped just to throw these together. So we've got our browning going on there. Let me give a peek at it and see how our, it's getting brown. Oh my gosh, awesome. Yum, I can't wait. So we'll get it nice and crispy. Of course, my favorite thing at the, everyone's favorite Mexican drive through is a Taco Supreme, because you know, it's just nothing without the sour cream, right? <laughs> always been my favorite and when do we eat this special drive through food road trips <laughs> we always hit them up on on road trips right because usually the line at the some of the other places are so long you know especially here in california you can wait a very long time for an in and out burger so sometimes you just go to your other favorite so let's see Oh my gosh, nice and crispy. We got that side nice and brown. I'll show you. And the oil helps it get nice and browned up here. So I want the other side to get browned up because I want that cheese that's right inside there to get nice and melty. So we'll give it a second to get nice and melty. And then we're gonna cut into this and see what we created here. A little bit of deliciousness. These would be so fun to make, especially for kids. If you've got kids, it's always a fun thing to figure out something else to make besides tacos, and this is it. Now, you could also make to uh, tostadas out of these. Use the corn tortillas and put the beans and meat and the lettuce and cheese, all these things. Just put it on top and make, make a tostada, too. So that is another thing you could do with all these same things. Or, of course, make tacos, make quesadillas. Um, Mexican food, very flexible, but today we're making these yummy crunch wraps. So let me see if we have some browning going on on this side. Oh my gosh, we do. So our crunch wrap here is ready to go. So let's put a little bit of salsa on here and a little bit of sour cream on top. And then I'm going to cut into this thing and show you guys what we've got inside. Oh my goodness, split our sour cream. I love sour cream. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we have all our layers in there. The cheese is all nice and melty and it just looks delicious. So there you have it. Quick and easy crunch wraps. Let me cut a piece off here and see if I can take a bite in a, without making too big of a mess here. Oh my gosh. Yum, our corn and jalapenos. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Highly recommend. Quality of the, of the ingredients inside is quality of our finished product, and it is delicious. I know my cameraman can't wait to taste this because it's yummy. So anyway, thanks for watching. We always love when you guys stop by here at Hostess Coach, and you know you can always subscribe. We appreciate that. And have you gotten our dinner party, summer dinner party um, challenge information? It's a whole dinner party with chicken elote tacos, all the videos, all the recipes, the whole party, everything you need for a dinner party for eight, including the timeline. So look below and click and subscribe to that um, uh, dinner party challenge and it is all there and I would love to hear your feedback. It's another delicious dinner party all ready to go. 
So thanks for stopping by, and I'm going to enjoy this crunch wrap.